everyone, this is Angie at Stampin' with Amore, and I have a cute little treat bag to share with you today. It's an oldie but goodie, and I totally forgot about it, and I've made these, several of these, many years ago, but um, it's using a little treat bag, and I couldn't, I didn't think about it until I went to my local craft store, and I saw the little treat bags, and I, I wanted to share it with you. So this little bird is one of our free choices in our celebration catalog. You know that the occasions catalog is now live so you can order from the occasions or annual catalog. If you order $50 you can choose his, his little, this little stamp and it's super cute. So this is the stamp. It's called Honey Home, Honeycomb Happiness. It's one of my favorite celebration because I love him and I like the b balloon also. <laughs> so anyway, this is the project that I'm sharing. So let's go ahead and get started. So what you're going to need for this are you're going to need these little white bags and they're three and a half inches by two inches um, by six and seven eighths inches. But I got these at my local Michaels. I know all the craft stores carry similar bags like this. So you're going to need that. And you just need one. You're going to need two pieces. This is Bermuda Bay that I'm using on this. You're going to need it at 3 and 7 eighths by 6 and 3 quarters. And then you're going to need some matting pieces. And the bottom mat is 3 and 3 quarters by three and a half and the top mat is three and a half by three and a quarter and a quarter and um, I just use regular cardstock for this because this is what we're stamping our sentiment on and this is some designer series paper from our new um, birthday staff and let me grab it real quick so I can tell you the name of it it's the it's my party designer series paper stack and I've used it before in some of my videos so um, you've probably seen similar and then to mat the bird, I'm going to use the Daffodil Delight this time. And this piece is going to be 3 by 2 and 7 eighths. And then another piece we're going to use is 4 by 3 and 1 eighth. And then another piece that you need to stamp, it's going to be 3 and a half and 2 and 3 quarters inches. And I didn't, on this other one, I didn't put this um, mat behind it, but I thought I would add it. I thought it might add a little bit to it so we're gonna go ahead and do that this time the first thing we're gonna do we're gonna take our two larger pieces and let let me grab my trimmer real quick because what I'm gonna have to do is we're gonna cut an inch off of the top of this bag just to make it a little bit shorter so it doesn't uh, get interfere with the handle so just cut an inch off of your bag and then I am actually going to go ahead and attach the one bag. And when you're doing this, um, these have to both be turned down. So I'm going to use some fast views here. Use some really good adhesive because you don't want it to fall apart. And I'm going to lay that. And I'm going to leave a little bit on the bottom here. So I hope I get this straight because okay and then we're going to decorate the front half before we attach it here and then you're going to need the word window punch let me go ahead and just punch that that out here and I'm just centering it and then we're going to decorate the front of this so let's go ahead and mat first this piece of designer. I'm going to use the snail for this. The it's my party designer series paper. This is a great stack. And we're going to mat that first. And then I'm going to mat this bottom piece. Just line them up and it's going to overlap a little bit but I did that on purpose and then let's go ahead and stamp before we do anything else so I'm using my ba basic black archival ink and 
I'm going to stamp the little bird here. I want to grab really quickly a piece of scrap paper here because I don't want to get it on my tabletop here. And to do get the balloon and him in here you have to put this line this up with the very bottom edge so he's down at the bottom so we have room for the balloon and I'm it's a little tricky to get the balloon when these are not photopolymer or clear stamps so it's going to be a little tricky but what I do is I just look at the bottom of the where the little handle is and then I'll punch it down see I got I overlapped it but it's it's a little tricky and I already did another one <laughs> so that in case that happened to me but you can get it I, I've done it three or four times already and I you can get it I know it so and you don't even have to make it look like he's holding it the first time I stamped it it came out that way and I thought oh that looks so cute because I really was meaning just to have it on the side but it looks really cute that he's it looks like he's holding it so I this time the last time I used my blender pen and my Stampin ink pads and this time I'm going to color him in with my Stampin write markers so I'm going to go ahead and do that I will speed up the video so you don't have to sit and watch me color this all in Okay, so now I have that all colored in and I'm going to use my um, two-way glue pen here and I'm just going to put a little bit on the balloon because I want to add some glitter to it. It just adds a little bit and, it, and these are our a dazzling diamond glitter. And I need that little piece again. And so see, it just adds a little bit of glitter to it. It's really cute. Okay, so now we're ready to put the rest of it together. And I'm going to attach the designer series paper to my card, Daffodil Delight card base. Uh, not card base, but mat. And then I'm going to actually pop him up with some dimensionals on to the other. It just add, adds a little bit dimension to it. And before I put it on the um, front of our bag, I'm going to have to stamp our sentiment. So we have that all ready to go. And I'm going to go ahead and stamp our sentiment. Now the sentiment is from a different stamp set. It's this sweet saying. I'm going to again use my Stampin', uh, Stampin Up Archival Black. And this one says... They say it's your birthday, and I love that. That's one of the Beatles, <laughs> Beatles songs. Probably showing my age here, but okay. And I can't get over it, so I'm going to try to line it up straight. And I did pretty good there. So I thought I love that saying. It's really cute. And then um, the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to put some Fast Fuse on the back of here. And I, I could have done this the other way around it'd be easier because I popped them up I don't really want to smash them so let's line him up on here and we're gonna again add some fast fuse uh, yeah fast fuse here and lay this on top and make sure your edges all and make sure this is down or your bag won't open. And I'm going to try to line it up here. 
and I didn't curve the corners on this one but that's okay I didn't I wanted to do this one a little bit different and then we're, we can punch our other handle here so we got it all there and then last we're gonna just put a little bit a little ribbon on it and I'm using the stitched Melon Mambo ribbon. But once you get your goodies inside, you can tie it around both or you can tie it around just one, one handle. So I'm going to put this. You can tie a knot, you can tie a bow, whichever you prefer. I kind of like the bow. I think it looks cute. This isn't the best bow, but... I will fix it later and so there you have it and here's the other one these are so cute now you can round the corners you can keep it square they they both look really cute and it has plenty of room in there for some really cute cute treats so that's the project today if you need any supplies don't forget the occasions catalog is live celebration is going on for every fifty dollars you spend you get a free product so come visit me at my shop at stampingwiththemore.com and i hope you enjoyed the project today have a blessed day everyone bye